What is going on everybody and welcome back to more NECC Valorant, two new casters in the booth. It's going to be Septilent here with Jag and now we've got UC Davis versus Montclair and if it's anything like the game that just ended on stream before this one, we've got quite the match ahead of us. Yeah, absolutely, that last one, it did go to three maps, but here is actually a bit of a story of revenge as these two teams have not played in their regular season, but they did play in the preseason with Montclair State falling short in that matchup. Montclair State also, uh, we've seen them a few times, but uh, you and I have cast them as well. They have yet to win in the regular season just yet. You see Davis too, they are on a 2-1 record so not too bad not too shabby only one loss so for montclair there's a lot that they need to get done here to try to get back into this regular season absolutely like you said things are looking a little bit bleak there's not a win in regular season and then our other team only two and one so nobody going exactly perfect but two and one is a lot better than not a single win in that category so definitely a good place to look out we're going to be starting on ascent and i believe we're going to be having montclair on the offense and uc davis on the defense and then that will of course swap for our second and possibly even third map but honestly i mean a new character was introduced i don't know if we're going to be seeing her at all today but i feel maybe we're not going to but this is a competitive scene after all and maybe nobody wants to be taking that risk quite yet yeah, I was actually wondering about that as well. I mean, Astro just got announced. She just got released today, I believe. So she's brand new to the game. And I think one thing that you and I have talked about a few times is having a controller who has smoked as a main ability because Omen and Brimstone, that's always been the go-between. Omen has kind of been leading the charges of late. And then they just introduced Astra, who looks like she could really change the game. But, you know, I feel like teams aren't going to be taking risks with her just yet. Right. Right, I definitely agree. And it sounds like, yeah, we're getting that confirmed now is that she will be banned for a little while. So that gives people plenty of time to learn her because I feel like picking her right now would be not really good for either team because you know nobody's going to be comfortable on an agent that came out like this morning. So we're definitely going to be seeing that stall come out a little bit. So until week six, I, we're probably going to see that same meta that we've really been seeing recently. Yeah, which has basically been Omen and then Phoenix, Jet, See it, Cypher, Killjoy, and then, you know, we get a mix in between. So we go into a set. We're going to figure out exactly what these teams want to run. This is Montclair State's choice. And as you said, you see defense. You see two. You see D. This two is going to be on the defense first. So they get to choose sides. They chose Bind later on. And uh, already, I mean, I feel like we always talk about Reyna. So if Divine does choose to go that route, I'm very interested to see how that turns out for them. But oh my, Ali C on the Viper. Yeah, not locked in quite yet, but we see them hovering over it, at least for the time being. And now, I mean, we're just currently looking at UC Davis. They're going to be picking exactly what we talk about, and Divine is going to choose for, to go for that Reyna as well. We're going to swap from Ali C. It looks like they're going to go on to the Omen instead of that Viper. And now, yep, no surprise on either side. I guess the biggest surprise would be Riggs on the Brimstone. You see him pretty often, but I feel as of late, we've been seeing him a little bit less in Omen, a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about this, I feel like, time and time again, how Omen is a little bit less powerful and brimstone right. is a little bit more powerful but i feel like omen just gets so much more value out of the paranoia anything that you find right now unfortunately in brimstone's kit um molly can be great but it's just not enough and i feel like when you use his abilities to like that helps you fire a bit faster uh, yeah. it just it's i feel like you don't the stimpy can just does not get enough placement he doesn't get enough value because you have to be pretty careful about where you play around it Omen, meanwhile, it can, you know, just go a lot of different places. Short distance teleport, long distance teleport. A lot of great things coming out of that kit. So we'll see which controller gets the advantage early on. I mean, I I think the breach is going to be really interesting here. Um, I agree. I feel like you could run a sky in the same place instead because then you'd have some heals. But they're going to try just to go for all that stun, all those concussions. And since they're on attack first, that could actually work out really, really well for them. As you see, they're setting up... For B, so I would not be surprised if they immediately go for a flash and just run onto B and try to plan it early on. Yeah, so not only did they go for the Killjoy, who's got more aggression on the attack than a Cypher would, they also go for that Breach, like you said. There's going to be a lot of damage coming out from them very quickly on, and yeah, looks like we're just going to be storming B, but Riceman able to pick up that first kill on this Wool Dominus Wrecked Riggs, not far behind. Killjoy are already on the side of our defense, just absolutely ripping this team apart, and Divine is able to pick up Riceman. We see the lead still very much in favor of UC Davis, and as that fifth and final player is ripped apart from Montclair, it's going to be a great start. First round already in favor of UC Davis, too. It was just a very clean round. I, I just don't think the attack was, um, you know, planned out well enough, honestly. It just seems like they ran in and then didn't really know how to reset after that. They lost a few along the way. I mean, you keep your Reyna alive, but we talk about how she doesn't have the same clutch potential right. that we used to see from her. So it's a great defense early on from UC Davis, too. I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen here. Willie does have that Ares, and I, I think we know exactly what the plane will be of that. Just going to spam away. And unfortunately for them, there's going to be no one to be met there as everyone else is on A. 
Yeah, I mean, had they been able to do that in the pistol round, which obviously they couldn't have, but I mean, that would have been a 5k had that play followed through quite like they wanted it to. We see the rotation onto A, however, so the attacker is going to get a little bit more. We might even see a plant this time, so already looking better than that pistol round. Swole Dominus wrecked, finds the plant early on, and now all we have to see is a good off or a good defense now, I guess, from Montclair. So a bit of a flip. Montclair now going to be defending the point that they've planted the spike on, and UC Davis, they got to find one kill and just push in like crazy. It looks like they've already found that kill as... Is... I believe one just fell to the shock dart. Yeah, it looks like it was the breach. Very unfortunate. That was a uh, wrong place, wrong time, I guess. And we see him taken out. We see a great paranoia coming through as well. I believe we saw paranoia for a moment there. I only vain gonna find one. Rice man gonna find another. Flumies and full dominance wrecked taken out. It's gonna be Rice man with the ghost again, finding just a bunch of eliminations. And there is not a bunch of time, but definitely enough time to defuse here. It's gonna be another round win and a flawless one at that for UC Davis. And that's really all you could do on the side of Montclair State with what you've got. I mean, you're just going to go for classics. You know you're not going to have the superior firepower. So you just run into a point. This time you actually do get the spike plant, which helps your economy later on. So it's, you know, you don't get kills, but you get more money. And now you can go for your bonus round. Now you can buy. You're going to get five vandals for the attackers. This could work out really well. And as long as they don't run into that areas that we saw really try to get value out of last round, this could be the first round win going for Montclair. Yeah, they've definitely got a little bit of economy. They did go for some buys last time around, but they're still able to just barely, just make it out from underneath. So actually they have no economy. The most they have is 300 credits online. And now, I mean, we're just seeing a good lead building for UC Davis too here. I think we see some great progress and, or no, I'm, yeah. And Montclair, they're really gonna have to, they're gonna have to find at least a couple of eliminations here because they, they have one elimination in total for the whole team right now. Yep, Alice, he just gonna spam away, gonna be caught out a little bit. They had the Spectre versus Vandals. It's not a matchup they want to take. And it looks like they're gonna go for the same exact rotation, but oh, well, Alice, he able to take out Flumies. That's huge right now for UC Davis. Yeah, Alice, they just poke their head around the corner, find Flumies on the high ground, who definitely was not paying attention there, and they're able to take out the Jet. So, you know, one of those people you expect to be those top fraggers gonna be taken out right away. And UC Davis, they have that lead once again. Have the uh -oh. lead, but can they uh -oh. get the position back? There it is. Rice Man going to be taken out, but Ali C and I only vain. They're able to get rid of two eliminations. And Swole Dominus Wrecked going to be able to tie things up for just a moment. Or no, excuse me, it's only going to be a 2v3, but Willie picks up Swole Dominus Wrecked, and now it comes down to Riggs on that Brimstone, who has yet to get an elimination of his own, but he finds two. Willie is, however, going to be able to take him out with that Ares, and all of a sudden, that's going to be a third round win, it seems, for UC Davis. Yeah, the close spike one. It. doesn't go off, and you see there is kind of the power of Brimstone, able to use the Molly to get the Omen off the spike by the means of killing them. I, I mean, it's a smart play. Like, you go for the half defuse, Definitely. I get that, but like, I feel like you just gotta have to run. You, you gotta realize, like, you're not gonna live through that. Still gives their life for the cause, still gets the round win, so that bonus round does not go the way of Montclair. And like you said, they had very little after trying to go for the full buy last time. Now they're gonna have nothing, they're gonna have to go for ghosts. And now because oh. of that big round win for UC Davis, they can go for the full by themselves. Look, things yeah. are looking good if you're from UC Davis too. Yeah, they are on the up and up to say the very least. We talked about Montclair, they do not have a win online quite yet. And now maybe we're starting to see why just a little bit. Their plays, just a little bit, a couple of misplays here and there. Their separations, their approaches just aren't working out. And they always lose somebody early on in that approach. So if they are able to get through onto point with all five, I think we could really see so much better progress. But there it is once again. Divine going to be taken out. Flumi's not far behind. And Soul Dominus wrecked. I mean, getting two eliminations now. Rice Man, however, the turret able to find it. And Rice Man on, on a solo rampage all once again. Gonna be up to Riggs, a 1v4, and that's seemingly impossible with that elimination, and that is the fourth round win for UC Davis. And what surprises me about this is because, like, there is so much entry potential for Monk. About the breach, we've already talked a little Absolutely. bit on to the point, cut off sight lines. And it seems like instead they're just running in blindly. You saw their Divine was leading the charge, ran in, didn't lear once, just immediately turned around and got completely shot in the back. So they're, they're just not playing it right. I think that they could try to come back from this, but early on, uh uc davis too they're in control and i uh, see this is there yeah especially this early on when you're i mean when you're montclair sitting at 0 and 4 to bring out the operator would be quite quite an interesting play to say the very least i think that flumies is keep the operator but now we're gonna see joe gonna try to pick up their own ops this is gonna be the first op v op battle we've seen in the gonna try to find an operator kill he doesn't pull the thing here as this fight opens up this if they get the next two rounds and keep it at five seven that's a very nice uh you know round total going into halftime especially on the defensive side of the map 
Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. If you're able to get the score up just a little bit. I mean, if we see UC Davis take these next couple of rounds in a halftime, that'll of course put them nine to three, which is quite the deficit. But like you said, five, seven, like that's that's winnable. Like you can come back from that. Ali C, however, going to make it a lot harder to win this round as they take Flumies out of the fight instantaneously with the Bucky. Willie finds Define as well. Um, Dingle Baby what? Joe finds another one. And all of a sudden, the Bucky round of a no lifetime. Way. Talk about, I mean, talk about thrifty. I couldn't have said it better. That was... UC Davis just did what is seemingly impossible. Yeah, that was that was just two Buckies going to work. That they also just get beautiful. They get two Vandals out of it. I mean, that's around that Montclair State. They should have won that hands down, but they don't check their corners. They don't play patiently enough. They just decide that, you know, we've got the lockdown on right now. So why even bother? They just assume the point is completely cleared out. But, you know, there's a gambit that's put down by UC Davis here. They say, no, we're going to play here of our shotguns. We're going to hold these close quarters. And if you can kill us, uh, if you can stay alive be be after the lockdown goes down, sure, you can kill us, but if you can't, like they couldn't, that's an easy win for UC Davis and a thrifty one at that. Yeah, and I mean, I, I could not say it enough, folks. You gotta check your corners. I, you, you gotta look in them because you will die. You will die just like that. I mean, that is the proof is in the pudding. You gotta be checking those corners. Now, I only vein committing to run it back. And he almost gets taken out by his own teammate there, but the Hunter's Fury does not hit him. Joe, however, does find Divine, so it looks like it's gonna be an elimination in favor of UC Davis 2, per the usual at this point, coming into this, what is it, the 12th round, I believe, of this matchup? So now we're gonna, yeah, this will be the last round before halftime. But now we see one elimination already in favor of our defenders. They're gonna try to find some early on but the killjoy ultimate coming out from the side of rice man so you see davis committing their killjoy ult that lockdown and i wouldn't be surprised to see swole dominus wrecked actually when did swole dominus wrecked commit their ultimate because they're at two and seven yeah two I mean, seven it was i think um it was last round it didn't oh. work out though but now there's gonna be a huge flank oh, wow. and joe only one away from the ace they oh. don't get it i only vain i it's only nice vain. steal the deal but i mean look at that was that was what? a great play but, but, yeah. but look at how many ultimates are still like there are three right now for montclair state that they were never gonna be able to use that's just gotta use those you just, honestly you just, that sounds so foolish like just you know just just, just use, use the forehead. forehead like but it's, <laughs> realistically like you've got you've got to use those ults you can't have them just sitting in your inventory like you know that that's the last round to use them commit them commit them some way somehow because you just threw those ultimates out like you got yeah. zero value from them and I, my question was going to be if they use the orbital strike on the lockdown, because that's a great way to break the enemy one. Um, right, after, right. But they just, they never use it. They don't use it at all, and they go to the grave of that. I think they also had a Rolling Thunder online. They had a few things to use there, and none of them actually ended up coming into fruition. And like you said, that lockdown was the one from last round. They tried to gamble a bit the round before. It didn't work out because a great thrifty defense comes out. And now you see Davis, too. They only need four rounds. That is not a lot to put this match away and then go up 1-0 in the series. Yeah, four rounds at halftime. I mean, that is that is a good place to be living in. There's only a couple of only a couple of better matchups there, and that would of course be going into halftime like twelve and zero, of course. But you know, nine and three, that is nothing to shy away from. And if you're able to win this pistol round and really flip tempo in your favor a little bit, like that'll be even bigger. Dingo baby gets a lot of shots, but just cannot find the kill. Riggs, however, gonna be able to clean up off the back of it. Gonna be a four to four. It looks like a breach and the jet taking down respectively. And the omen on the side of our new attacking team, which will be UC Davis. Pressure is coming out on them because they are they are one bullet from death here. A lot of people weak on the side of UC Davis, especially their omen. Phoenix gonna be caught from behind by Flumies, and now this looks great for the defenders. Yep, Brimstone able to take out Sova as well. Riggs with the triple kill. Definitely that top fragger on the side. Actually, on the side of Montclair by a notable number. Currently sitting at 15, most in lobby. Next in line for Montclair is six from Dingo Baby. So we definitely see a bit, a bit of a solo carry, which we usually talk about probably isn't enough to win you matches. It's not, unfortunately. Riggs, while they're having a great performance in their own right, has also died quite a bit. And then you look Very at true. Willie, who's down by two kills, the top frag right now for UC Davis. But look at everyone behind them. Everyone, There's only one person right now that doesn't have 10 kills, and they're at nine. So, like, almost everyone's at double digits right now for UC right. Davis, too. It's right. a great team effort. They do lose that pistol round, so it's not going to be a cakewalk to get to the finish line just yet. They're going to have to go through this round. It's going to be pretty difficult knowing that Montclair State's going to have a bunch of SMGs on their side. But, I mean, he here's the thing. You've already won a thrifty round with just Bucky's. So, you know, yeah. doing it with a sheriff and a classic, that might not be out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, and Montclair here, they're going to be full committing into this buy. They're all going to go for Spectres, so they're going to give pretty much all of their in all of their credits to do so their economy, and it's going to be a trade straight away. Riggs finds Rice Man, but Joe picks up Riggs, so all those Spectres may not be worth it quite yet. It's I only Vane finds Dingle Baby with the Sheriff. That's even worse for Montclair because they commit their full 
this divine is able to make up for it a little bit finds ali c it's going to be a three to three we see the actually six different characters online oh, no excuse me there's a jet on both sides so looks like we're gonna see five different characters as both still have their jets up willie gonna be committing this recon bolt trying to get any kind of info but as, i mean every second this spike takes is another second that eventually our defenders are just gonna have to push in and pray oh this is a big thing for i only vain oh Oh wow, Swole Dominus Rekt able to find two. I only Vayne gonna find that Sheriff kill onto Flui, a 2v1, and Swole Dominus Rekt is low, but Divine is gonna be able to pick up that kill. Oh no, I only Vayne finds Swole Dominus Rekt. And honestly, it's gonna be close, but I think they've got time to finish the defuse. Yeah, they've yeah, got okay, a bit of time. Seconds. I think there, I mean, it was a very interesting, you could like just tell what I only Vayne was thinking during that whole like kind of little succession it was uh do i use this now to heal myself or do i wait right. for the retake right. uh they ended up going for the retake at the very end it does get one kill but it's not enough to kill both of the defenders so even though they've gotten two plants they haven't really led to anything the good news though now is that they can buy for the first time after giving up a few rounds um it's a bit closer now nine five you, you'd rather it be 11 three right now and just kind of, of put the game away but now this is where things are finally even once again. And if you start to stagger here as an attacker, that's where you let Montclair stay back to the game. So you cannot let them have this round. Yeah, we talk about Valorant all the time. Pretty much every map is going to be a defender sided map. You get a very small advantage and just, you know, it seems like maybe Montclair's been waiting for this. Maybe them starting on offense, starting on the attack, just wasn't their cup of tea, but now they're coming in on the defense. They're already playing a little bit better. And I mean, don't get me wrong. We still see Flumi sitting at one and 13. So this definitely has not been their game and everybody but Riggs in the single digits still in terms of eliminations. Ali C finding Riggs as well. I mean, that pretty much seals up this round for UC Davis simply because Riggs is the only one really getting consistent eliminations. Yep, it's it's the bonus round right now for UC Davis. So it's something they were expected to win, but you know, it happens sometimes where they don't. Now they know where one is, they know where Divine is playing a little bit near tree, and they're not even going to try to contest this. It looks like they're just going to wait for them to walk in. I think the Killjoy is also peeking around the corner in heaven, so they know exactly where both of the defenders are from Montclair State is, and it's going to be very hard to win this, and it's not going to be possible. Yeah, at least flawless. he would triple, and that's, what is that, the fourth flawless, I think, for UC Davis? Either the third or fourth, I'm not going to keep track because I already lost count, but <laughs> they've, had, they've had quite a few, to be honest. They've, they've really had quite a few in favor of themselves, and now, like you said, at one point, you wanted this to be 11-3, to three, but you lose a couple, you win that bonus round, like you said, they were expected to do that. Now they've got to keep this momentum up. They've got to just win, what, three, yeah, three more to win this, and they're able to win that first map, and then we move into our second map, which is Bind, I believe? Yeah, the second map, I'm gonna check my notes I really have quickly. It here, it's yeah. gonna be Bind, yeah, it, is, it will be Perfect. Bind. So Perfect. that'll be fun when we get there. Um, I think you and I both have seen a lot of Ascent, so yeah, you know, we're gonna so. to move off of this map, but we still have a little bit of more yeah. time here in Italy before we do so. Um, I mean, if you're gonna, if you want any chance of coming back from this right now, Montclair State, this is the time you have to shine. Last round, yep. like I said, like it'd be great if you win it, but it's not the end all be all. Here, it's even playing field, no ultimates. Everyone, for the most part, has. I thought there was gonna be a good buy actually. It looks like right now Montclair State isn't really able to afford anything. So that, that's a yeah, problem. They've, me. Got, they've got two classics as their weapons, which uh which for forced a draw drop from me just a little bit. I mean that is that is quite the risk to be taking, especially as flumies. You're not really hitting these shots, you're not finding the eliminations that you want. And the odds of you doing that with a classic up against a vandal, I mean that's just that feels incredibly unlikely. Now, Ali C, they're already going to get a super early plant. That's going to help. They need one elimination to really flip momentum further in their favor. And now Joe knows somebody's in heaven. He's going to possibly go for the wall bang, or I guess the floor bang in that scenario. But it looks like, yeah, a lot of patience coming out. Riceman is able to find Dingo Baby, able to find Swole Dominus Wrecked as well. So that is going to be very, very bleak if you are Montclair. But on the bright side, I mean, silver lining, at least you didn't commit a lot of economy to this. But you do commit the Empress at the very oh, end. Divine just oh, got it man. online and then pops it immediately, gets popped themselves. So, kind of have to, you gotta read the room sometimes, realize yeah. where you're at. You're the only person alive, and maybe back in the day you could go for that 1v4 with the amount of floor you had, but now you don't, and now you're down. This You can buy here, and this would have been a great time Barely. to have the Empress with the orbital strike, but yeah, yeah Montclair State. Um, They've got Two to think of them of, currently have zero credits. Like they, they can hardly buy into this round. Yeah, if they if they lose this round, like it's it's game it's over, over for at least yeah. this map. You know, that is that is incredibly unfortunate that we are seeing that aggression come out. And just from UC Davis, they took a lead and they never really dropped it. We saw a couple of rounds end in favor of Montclair, but unfortunately they have not been able to get back on their feet like we need them to. It has to be this round. Like Jack said, that, that's going to be the nail in the coffin here. I mean, they, they've really got to win this round or 
they're, they, the, the odds of them winning the final round are incredibly low. And that's why, you know, having the Empress offline is just so yeah, detrimental to them. Because well, huge for UC Davis. Yeah, it's it's a huge advantage for UC Davis because, I mean, the ultimate bank is definitely in their favor. So it could have been, you know, three versus two. Now it's three versus one. Uh, and the lockdown is something that UC Davis can use now. They can save it for later. One thing to note is that this is probably the most passive they've been so far. Yeah, very you know, much. Call it and it happens. There is going to be that lockdown and they're going to be trying to go on to A. There's the orbital strike. So this is what I was talking about before. You can use that ultimate to break the lockdown from Killjoy. And they didn't do it last time before the swap. They did use it this time, but that's the only ultimate that Montclair State had now offline. Yeah, I was going to say that's the only one they had, and Swill Dominance Wrecked is one away from having that lockdown online, but going to be taken out of the fight before they're able to get it. Bloomy's already gone as well, sitting at 1 and 16, unfortunately. Not a great KD this time around. Riggs able to find Joe, so it's going to be a 3v4, but Brimstone already pretty low. They've still got Hunter's Fury on the side of UC Davis as well, so things are looking bleak for Montclair. They, they may be able to win this if they just are incredibly lucky and don't miss their shots, but as we see... A lot of damage coming out. Riggs finds LEC, but the yeah, floor bang, I guess, onto Riggs is going to be able to take him out. Dingo Baby gone as well, and Divine Will fall. That's going to be another round in favor of UC Davis, too. And Montclair, they, ju they just don't have an economy. Like, this this feels almost impossible. Yeah, I'm trying to look and see what they want to buy. I mean, we have one Vandal online from Riggs oh. and then a Spectre of Bucky. Yeah, it's a Bulldog. bulldog. Not too bad. <laughs> Uh, I think the biggest thing is that they do have ultimates now because of those deaths. They do have some things online. You've got the Blade Storm, so you could just try to commit that if you're going to be Flumies here, you know. But you're going to go for the Bulldog anyway. The Lockdown could be huge, um, but the Hunter's Fury could break it. So I think if you are Montclair State, like, just just use it. Don't think too much, just use it. And just as I say that the Blade Storm does come online. Yeah, and Divine gonna be able to find two, but Joe able to pick up Divine off the back of it. So now we see the Blade Storm. It was online, is online. I'm not quite sure where it ended up, and uh, I'm colorblind, guys. I can't see the top bar, so I have to look at my tab to figure out what's going on. But LEC able to find Dingo Baby there, so a three v three, and this is literally Montclair's last hope here on Ascent. Like it's as simple as they lose this round, they lose the map, and we have to move on to our second one, which could of course be our final. This is a best of three, so if we see two in favor of either of these teams, they win it all. Flumies has the Blade Storm, picks up their second kill of the game, but Willie able to find him with the headshot straight away. A Sova, a Hunter's Fury, and a Dream. The turret going to be coming out here from Swole Dominus Rekt. Going to be taken out, of course, and Swole Dominus Rekt only has a Spectre, but is able to find the kill onto Willy. So somehow, some way, I mean, Montclair, they live another day. And that was a big gamble right there by Swole Dominus Rekt. Very much so. Yeah, the Spectre versus the Vandal, usually not a matchup you're going to win. In that case, you do. And I mean, your big trick right there, if you lose it, is like, oh man, I had this locked in. I could have won this 1v1 easily, but they decide to believe in themselves. It's a belief well placed. They do stay alive for another round, and we're getting a bit closer, you know, inch by inch. But already, you see Davis is only one away. Uh, we'll see if they buy here. It looks like they do. So that, they, you know, they're, they're not they're not going to wait any longer. They just want to put this away right now. The Hunter's Fury is still in line, as you said, but that Killjoy ultimate still in Swill Dominus Rex's pocket, and that could what helps them fight at least one more round, depending on how they use it here. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's all really going to depend how they use it here. Like, that's what you need to be looking out for, because if they overcommit, if they put it down and it's immediately destroyed, that's not going to be great. And something honestly crazy to consider with a score like 12 to 6, I mean, Riggs is tied for most eliminations and actually now has the most eliminations in the lobby. So that is... I mean, that's nuts. Just to consider that the team is down by six rounds and Riggs is still somehow the top fragger of the lobby. Like, that is... That just, just kudos to them for that. That is not an easy thing to do. And the next closest person on their team, Divine, has half of those kills at 10. So that, you know, again, we talk about, like, you know, team play. Willie, Riceman, 19, 17 kills. Joe, not, Joe and I only Bay not too far behind, 14, 14. I mean, like, there's so many more kills right now. Riggs is doing their best to try to put their team on their back as the Brimstone. And, you know, it's helping them get the first kill this round. So not dead in the water just yet. Yeah, they are. They are critically wounded, but not quite dead in the water. And now they just have to secure one more round win. They're up by one as Rice Man was taken out. So we could see them win this and let themselves live another day. And as Divine is able to find Joe, that's going to be even better. I only Bane going to fall as well. And Flumies picks up another elimination onto Willy there. Looks like it's just going to be Ali C. They are the sole survivor of UC Davis 2 for the time being. And Divine able to find him. And all right, looking good. Montclair, they pick up a flawless round of their own. And think about all the guns they're just going to get off of that. Yeah, alignment. absolutely. And you mentioned this earlier, like you've seen a lot of flawless ends. That's the first one I'm pretty sure we've seen from Montclair. Um, the other yes. rounds that they have won, I've been very, very close. Or, you know, you know, they've had a, you know, maybe like a 3v1 at the ends. But that's the first one where everyone stays alive. They don't have to buy. And all of a sudden, their alt economy is healthy again. That Empress that was not used very well is already back. 
So, I mean, obviously, if you see Davis 2, you only need one more round to win, and you're feeling pretty good about that because you can still buy because you've had a very nice economy. But Montclair State has actually kind of brought themselves back into this. There's there's a world where they can win the next five rounds and bring it to overtime. Yeah, I, yeah like you said, there's a world where that's definitely possible. They're going to be able to do that. But just that constant looming fear of UC Davis, they've got to win one more round. They, they, they're not going to lose every round until that overtime, or at least they're going to try not to. There is, you know, it is possible that they're able to Don't do that. Don't cast the curse, though. I was going to say, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to cast a curse anybody, but it comes with my natural dialogue. So unfortunately, one of these teams is uh, going to be uh, the victim of a caster curse. And I only vain for a moment. There was at 300 ping. So that is something to keep an eye on as well. Is maybe, they're, maybe their internet's starting to act up just a little bit. And that may be why they've fallen to the wayside these last couple of rounds. Yeah, the Phoenix is very dominant on the defense here on the attack. Hasn't been as good. We'll see. We'll, we'll watch that the story as it develops. But the story oh. here right now is that Flumies is going to find the first pick. Flumies, maybe the, you know, that bottom fragger on the side of UC Davis too. Maybe the very reason they end up winning this map, finding a second elimination onto I Only Vein. So that's going to be good here. Trying to fire. I said UC Davis didn't. Know. That's the bottom fragger of Montclair. You'll have to excuse me on that. But Rice Man, going to try to tie things up right away. It's going to be some great aggression coming out. Joe able to find Swole Dominus Wrecked as well. So things starting to look more and more bleak. If you are Montclair, you see Davis, they're able to tie up the numbers, but Dingo Baby gonna put it in favor of them once again. Flumi is able to find their third kill of the matchup, and now it's just this Killjoy, a Vandal, and a Dream. We see two that are very low. Wow, you take out the most health first. Rice Man's gonna find a 4k here. I feel it. I mean, we're looking at Flumi's is critical condition. They're gonna have to get quite the kill. But they're running out of time, and yep, there it is. The clutch comes through. Rice Man secures that victory, and all of a sudden, it is gonna be over for Montclair here on Ascent. And we talked about this a lot, how for Montclair State, they really had to keep using ultimates as they got them. They had the Rolling Thunder right. online, never came out. And that was in a great position. I mean, obviously, it is a 1v3, but you got to think about that your rigs, your top fragger had like one health. I really wanted to see their POV because they looked like they were like, I was looking at their health bar and like there wasn't even red. It was just like gray, right. but they were still alive. So it must have been like one or two health. Then also um, your jet is still pretty weak. She's in the red. So there's only one of you that's like, somewhat full health and it's the one diffusing the spike immediately you are vulnerable no one is there to help you if you just use the rolling thunder there you can knock up that killjoy and stay alive get another round and then it's 12 8 and things get closer and closer but there at the end of the day they had like three or four ultimates i think most of them were gained after they had died because of the death or they get from it but still so much utility that they had online that was not used and i think that's a big part of why montclair state is going to drop the first map here Absolutely. Just old, old usage just did not work out in their favor. Like it was just pretty, pretty not great. But of course, as we jump into this very small break, maybe they can think that over, talk about their strategies and look to improve. I also think we're probably going to see a different comp from them, but we can talk about that when we get back. Check your posture, drink some water, and we'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. Wow.
What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, if you don't, if you're just now joining us, it's UC Davis 2 up against Montclair. So definitely keep an eye on the fact that UC Davis, they win that first one rather convincingly. Montclair, they're able to come back just a little bit. But on Ascent, UC Davis 2, they had pretty much a stranglehold for majority of that matchup. Yeah, especially on their defense. It just looks like it was liked out. They struggled a bit more on the attack, which is which they will be starting on for buying. So we'll see if that's a trend that continues, if their attack isn't as strong. But I believe 13-7 to 7 was that final score line. And although there were some moments, like you said, for Montclair to come back, weren't able to do it. And this is a reminder for those who weren't here at the beginning of this game. This is a rematch from the preseason. Montclair, they're still trying to find their first win. For the regular season, they lost in the preseason. They have not won at all in the regular season. So this would be a huge momentum shift if they were able to win this matchup. But the only way they'll be able to do that now is through a reverse sweep. Yeah, like you said, a reverse sweep is going to have to come through here. We saw a map three earlier on today before Jag and I were online. You guys with Orbital and Alice saw them go all the way to map three in that last matchup. And honestly, I think something that we talked about very early on is we're just not seeing ultimate usage coming out from Montclair. They have so many ultimates and they just sit on them. And of course... Those are some of the strongest abilities in the game. So you're going to want to be using them a little more consistently than we're seeing. And I, I think that was one like edge of the double edged sword is that they were not using ultimates when they should have. But then also right. we saw Divine in particular. And, you know, we hate to just single out single players, but, you know, as a duelist, so you got to be really careful about your ability usage was using Empress in some of the um, not most ideal situations. That's the best way of putting it. You know, they're using it when they were down a bunch. They're using it when they just got a kill, but the rest of the team around them had fallen. So we'll see if they continue to play on the Reyna. Maybe if they play a different agent going into Bind, that will kind of swap up their play style a little bit. But um, I think the biggest thing is, like, they can't be too overeager, but they also can't be too passive. They've got to find somewhere in the middle for these ultimates to come out. And ultimates are not the end-all, be-all of Valorant. I think gunplay will always be kind of the first and foremost thing that we see here. Just click right. head, forehead. But uh, those ultimates can definitely give you a big leg up, especially in situations where you might be down otherwise. Yeah, definitely going to be just about the gunfights. Like you said, simple as that. Just click heads, and those abilities come out <laughs> very often Very often from Montclair. I think we need to be seeing them more consistently. The Empress not coming out of the best times. Flumies, I don't think, able to get out any blade storms. I think we saw one at the end. And honestly, speaking of Flumies, definitely not their game. We saw them doing a little bit rough on Ascent. I think they ended with, like, eight eliminations, and they got, like, seven of those in the last two rounds. So they finally started to warm up toward the end of that matchup, and they really started to put themselves back on the board. But now you've got to think, maybe they just weren't warmed up properly. Are they going to come back stronger here on our second map, which is going to be Bind? I don't know if we mentioned that. But coming into Bind, are we going to see Montclair maybe play a little bit more aggressively? Because if Flumies is able to hit these shots, that's going to crack that team wide open. Yeah, and I don't think that you'll necessarily see a Jet on Bind. I think that right, Phoenix and Rays are the most popular duelists on this map. but. You know, we'll see how it plays out. I think you bring up a good point, though, you know, the idea of are they going to be warmed up or are they going to be a bit, you know, I mean, that's it's kind of a difference maker there. Like, you know, do you feel more empowered now that you're able to bring a few rounds back at the end or do you feel a bit defeated because it wasn't close for a very long time? But as these picks do come through, uh, we actually are going to see a jet online, but it's not going to be the one In we expect. Place, yeah, oh, it is actually going to be the one we expect. Flumies is going to stick with the jet. So this is this is very intriguing. The fact that we're going to see a jet matchup on binds. That's not something that you see every day. Yeah, no, it's definitely not something you see every day. And not only have they stuck to the jet, they've also now subbed in uh, a raise. So they don't have a Phoenix online anymore. If anything, I would expect a Phoenix and a raise. But no, we're going to be seeing raise and jet versus there's there's a lot going on here. We're going to see, I think, the same team comp coming out from Montclair here. I don't think they changed anything. No, I, I believe you're right. I believe this is the exact same comp. Oh. Meanwhile, UC Davis, they have made quite a bit of changes. Willie, who was playing the Soba, going to be going to a Duelist now. Rice Man going to be going from that Killjoy to a Cypher. And now there's a Breach. There's going to be two Breaches. Uh, Dingo Baby was on it before, oh. but now Joe is going to go. I believe they were on the Jet before, and now they're actually going to be playing the Breach. So that's very intriguing to see like those role swaps. Um, Again, roles aren't as important in this game as another right. one. Maybe like Overwatch, but still, you know, the playstyle that you have can differ. I mean, duels usually they're supposed to be the ones fragging out. Controllers used to be the ones that are going to be helping you get on the points. Sentinels help get information. So there's there's a lot of different right things going here. And now that you're kind of swapping up the rules, that can kind of switch how you play things up. I think really only Ali C and I only Bane are the ones that are still doing the same thing in Race Man. So only two swaps. I guess not the biggest thing in the world, but we'll see if that plays out. And remember this, they're they're on attack for the first time. This is where they struggled on a set more than defense. So. But these swaps, we'll see how it works out now for UC Davis too. 
Yeah, UC Davis too, gonna start, oh, excuse me, gonna start on that attack, which you mentioned already, they struggled a little bit more on that. And by a little bit, I mean quite a lot of it. We saw six rounds go in favor of Montclair when they were starting, um, when the sides were swapped. And now Soldominus Wrecked gonna drop to 21 health. And it looks like Soldominus Wrecked and uh, Willy there, they're just gonna give up that gunfight, I guess. But I only vain gonna be able to find Flumies, Riggs picks up Joe. So 4v4 turned into a 2v4 in just the blink of an eye. I only vain finds Dingo Baby and Divine just cannot hit those shots in time. Willy able to find that final elimination and all of a sudden another lead starting off strong for uc davis yeah and i mean when you see the same comp come out on two different maps you think either like they're very confident and very good at these characters or they aren't confident on other characters which can be a bit concerning because you want to be adaptable in a game like valor you know every map is different we always kind of meme about icebox and how it's so right. vertical but like if you do have to play icebox you got to come up with a comp that works best for that and maybe situation that's like where you bust out a jet and a raise but if you don't feel comfortable in raise then you're not just you're not gonna be able to take advantage of the map geometry now right now you see davis too they seem to have a pretty good idea of they what they want to play with their swaps and i mean it's only one round so far but they keep playing like this and they can have a much better attack than they did last time absolutely will he bring out the judge already putting it to work able to find flumies there that judge that jury and that executioner taking out that opposing jet now we're gonna see dingo baby go for a flash but he walks right into another opponent rice man just waiting around that corner will he finding a second kill and i mean it's one of those blink and you miss it rounds this is already a 2v5 yeah, a jet with a judge is such a scary thing to see. She's just going to dash so. right into you and completely destroy you. Now there's Riggs, that top fragger from last game, who's going to be alive. But, I mean, there isn't that much they can do. They're going to leer out, but they're immediately going to get mowed down. Oh, yeah, Riggs gone. Uh, just another flawless round for this team. I mean, this has been nothing short of constant aggression coming out from UC Davis. They've already got a two-round lead, but, I mean, this is pretty much a copy-paste to what we saw the first time. Yeah, and you can kind of see where UC Davis 2 is in terms of the Challengers division, where they are in that middle tier. I mean, a win here was going to put them near the top of the mountain. That's what you love to see. And if you can keep executing plays like that, just running in with the Judge can work out really well. And you get, they've won a thirsty round. They won the thirsty round last time um, when it was the bonus for the other team. When it was a bonus for Montclair, um, when they were on defense, they were able to win that. So I would not be surprised with how they're playing if they can win this one as well, too. I think the biggest thing to look out for is that Rice Man only has a frenzy, but... Everyone else is specters and judges, so there's definitely a situation where they can still win this and make it 3-0. Yeah, they could win this and make it 3-0, which is exactly what you'd want to be seeing, I think. You know, that, of course, that's exactly what you want to be in, is I only vain find full dominance wrecked straight away. I mean, that's going to make it all the easier. And Willie still rocking this judge, able to find another kill. Rice Man picks up Dingo Baby in that back line. And as I said, still rocking the judge. He did actually die and have it taken out of his hands. But we see Rice Man is going to grab it. And again, blink and you miss it. We're looking at a 4v2. And I feel like I cast your curse that into existence because the guns were so good right now for Montclair State. They all were able to buy Assault Rebels, except for, I believe, Divine, who does have a Spectre. But, I mean, Vandal, that should win a matchup between a Judge any day. But the thing is that they're just letting UC Davis 2 push in so aggressively that they can't actually get those distance battles that they want. And then once it's a Judge in your face, we already said it. I mean, Pop goes the Weasel. You're not going to win that. Yeah, you are really not going to win that matchup there. The spike being planted as well, and I just don't think a Brimstone and Arena this early in the game, they don't have a kit online. I really don't think they're going to be able to win this. They've got a Vandal and a Spectre, but they don't have the time to kill four people and defuse. And I just realized it's the exact same pe uh, agents that live last round, Riggs and Divine. Yep. They both are alive for round two for the spike to go off. This time they do keep their guns, and I think that's really good for Riggs, who's going to be able to keep that Vandal, but for Divine... Um, a bit hit, hit or miss about the Spectre. It's just, I mean, now look at what's going to happen for UC Davis 2. They're going to go for a complete full buy. They're going to be able to get the Operator, um, unless they decide to best around of it. I was saying they really had it for just a second. Now they might actually go for a bit of a lighter buy. I'm not sure what they'll do, but UC Davis 2, um, the momentum, I mean, like their momentum kind of stopped for a little bit on a set, but it definitely has picked up here once again. Yeah, absolutely. The momentum has really flipped and stayed in their favor once again. They lost it for a moment. And Flumie's coming out on the Bulldog. You know, not my favorite weapon, but one that always gets the job done. As long as you're hitting your shots, any bull any gun can be a good one. Flumie's able to find that elimination early on. So backing up my point of maybe not the best weapon, but not a bad one either. And now we see Divine finding Joe. Riceman going to pick up Divine. So that trade hardly worth it. You're still up in numbers just by one. So this is the first time I feel we've seen Montclair with a lead. I'm pretty sure at all here on, on Bind. I feel like they've got... A decent lead, they might as well try to utilize it. Neural theft being committed is gonna also lead to a teleporter from Raceman. So now they're just gonna try to come go all the way around to A. But I mean Montclair State, they know exactly what's up. So I think this is a really smart play. Where is the where's the spike? It's with the cipher. So I would say maybe give it to your jet, give it to someone else. 
and then just try to make noise one place. You've already pulled them all the way to A, so this could be a full rotation to B, and then you can just keep rotating back and forth. If you do have that camera on B long, so you know exactly if there's going to be someone rotating, but it looks like at least for the time being, they do want to commit to this A site. Yeah, they're going to commit to this A site, which, you know, very clearly has oh, worked out see, for them a see, look of at this. times. Look at it. Look at look at Montclair. They're all rotating now. They're going back to B. Uh, oh, and that's exactly that's exactly what UC Davis two wanted to happen. Now, pretty much all of Montclair, they've just left point. Now they're going to be coming back, but there's not there's not enough time to get back before the spike plant comes through. So now they're going to have that little bit of a high ground, and that's not necessarily an advantage. And a full dominance wreck is taken out by Willie. A three v three, so even more in favor of UC Davis as they've got the spike planted. Looks like they're going to be committing a little bit of aggression here. It's gonna turn into a firefight at one time or another. Someone's gonna turn the corner right into Willie's crosshair, but Riggs is gonna be able to find a double kill. Gonna actually flip it in favor of Montclair. So all that smack I was talking, turns out I'm gonna be the wrong one here. At least see they're finally eliminated. And again, Montclair, they're able to put at least one under their belt. It was a great diversion play there by UC Davis too, but Montclair did end up wising up. And the biggest thing is that UC Davis who did not play split enough. They, they played so close knit together. They all played around U-Haul where you really need to have one on A long because you know they're all going to be coming from B. So it, it, you, you had the tripwire as well. So if there was someone trying to flank, you would have been aware of it happening. But instead, they all play very close knit to where the spike is. And from there, Montclair State, they are just able to kind of, you know, jump on that opportunity. They use the stem beacon, get some extra damage and fire rate and win that round. It's, it's a bit closer than it was earlier on. I feel like UC Davis was in much more control of Ascent. But again, we talked about how their attack isn't as strong as their defense. Right, right. The attack is just not nearly as strong as the defense. Willie also just notably doing a better job than they did on Ascent, currently sitting as the top fragger in the lobby um, in seven eliminations. The most other than that is three. So definitely making a name for themselves a little bit. And they're already going to be committing to an operator early on, which I think is an unusual choice. But I mean, if it works, right, if you can actually land those shots, if you can get the kills, the operator, of course, is going to be worth it. Yeah, it's a big risk, especially Very much on so. the attacking side. But if it works, it works. Like you said, you already mentioned Lily is the top fricker, has been popping off on this jet. I think the biggest thing is you just have to find an angle that works out for you. And right now, it looks like they're trying to look into showers and the spike is still left at A. So even though there's a lot of noise being made at B, they haven't actually decided where they want to go on this attack. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit of indecision in both the teams. Really, nobody's, the, not all of one team is on a point. So we're seeing a lot of split attacks coming through here. Rice Man able to find Divine. That's going to be huge. That's going to really open up B. We see one more defender going to be Flumies on the high ground. Actually able to, never mind, clean up that attack. So Flumies going to find that double kill. Looks like they're rocking the Vandal as well. So another lead coming out from Montclair. But your Jets, she's critical condition. So it's, it's basically a 3v3. Yeah, I only Vayne just goes for the blast. Pack tries to go like out from Hookah onto the point, but because of that, isn't able to hit the shots. And now, Willie, even with the operator, is going to commit the blade storms. So this is a very aggressive play, but I mean, you're going to put your operator at risk. Yeah, because very much so. Die too far forward, and you're never getting it back. Yeah, die too far forward, and they're going to be able to grab it before a teammate can as well. So you definitely want to try to get that operator, maybe maybe even drop it to a teammate before you commit this. I mean, this just feels so weird. Yeah, I was going to say, just leave it behind. Maybe try to pick up. There's so many vandals on the ground, so why not? Right. Right, maybe just leave it somewhere that it can be grabbed by a teammate. If you go down just like that, Willie's going to biff all those shots. Swole Dominus wrecked. Able to find a little bit more damage. LEC finds rigs. It's going to be a 1v1. Killjoy versus an Omen here. This really does not get closer. We see 70 for Ali C and Swole Dominus wrecked with the triple kill. Going to secure quite a few eliminations for themselves there. I believe three, if I'm not mistaken, maybe only two. But they also get that Operator. We talked about it. High risk, no reward there for UC Davis. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to commit the Blake Storm, just drop the Operator off somewhere. Yeah. Try to throw it off a map if possible. You're playing so up close. You saw them going to it for just a second, trying to take that angle, and it didn't work out. And I think what we got right now is... Um, <laughs> you, you know, they're just saying, hey, I'm Flumies and I'm the Jet, so give me that up. <laughs> and that's what Flumies happened there. Just waiting, just patiently waiting for that operator to be dropped. That was that was quite funny. Yeah, and eventually it is. It's a, it was a big risk, no reward, as you said. And now that's a lot of value going the way of Montclair. And, and this is the yeah, closest I mean, they've been to an even game. I mean, it's, I it's only say. one round away from being tied. I was going to say, talk about value. I mean, they've got an operator thanks to, thanks to the sloppiness of their team or their opponents. And now they've got four ultimates. Riggs is one kill away from the fifth. Y use some of these, you know? You're only five rounds in using maybe that Empress or maybe using the lockdown. Like, that could really flip around in your favor. And like you said, you're one round away from tying it up. It's like, you really want to win this. Empress was committed. Alarm bot did find out some information for Swole Dominus Rex as they had to leave 
U-Haul, and they, I don't know if they know there's two people right around the corner, but there definitely is. I want to know where the spike is. It is, it looks like they're just going to go for this early plant, and now the whole fight is on. Oh, and Joe going to be taken out very early on by Riggs here, and they're going to try to stun the people planting the spike, just not able to do it quite yet. The spike plant, like you said, it comes through, but, you know, Rolling I think there's a lot of patience coming out here. Divine able to find Rice Man, so even more in favor of Montclair here. LEC is going to pick up Riggs, but Soldominus Wrecked finds another one. LEC with a double kill. Willie with a third. All of a sudden, it's going to be tied up here. LEC, however, they are critical condition. And Flumi is still rocking that Operator, but they too are going to commit a Blade Storm and be taken out right away. I don't know what is going on with that, but I mean, LEC with the triple kill, 21 health. They're able to secure another round win. I think there was just or a lot of misplays. It was Flumies jumping right in with the blade storm. The Flumies and just kind of single knife. had that like bra moment where they just kind of were staring at each other. It's kind of like the, it's like the Spider-Man meme where they're pointing at each other. Yeah. But the thing is, yeah, like the blade storm, like it's great if you can hit your headshots, but other than that, like it's so easy to whiff on, whiff on it. They're unfortunately they miss everything. Willie does get the trade, but. The fact, the fact that Willie dies and they know exactly it's from behind, then it's just going to completely key in Ali C that there's someone coming from that direction. Even though they had like 20 health, they're able to hit all their shots. And that's a round that Montclair should have won, but UC Davis, yeah, they're able so. to pull it pull it off and the lead is still in their favor. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think anybody grabbed the... Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Willie does have that operator, so they were able to grab that there. We see Divine taken out straight away. Flumi is able to find I Only Vane, but going to be taken out by Ali C, who just... I mean, just such a silent hero right now. LEC always finding these eliminations when they're most crucial, always picking up these kills when they're most important because it got tied up. LEC, they're able to find one more elimination onto Flumies, so things are going to get all rocked up. Rolling Thunder committed on to be to completely clear out the point. Uh, good ult, but they don't know that there is no one there. But now Riceman going to be on the flank trying to clean this up and... I'm not sure what's going on right now, so Dominus Rex. Uh, I, I, like... I believe they lost power. I'm seeing that in the in the chat. It seems, yeah, no. It looks like they did lose power, so we see a little bit of a disconnect, and they're even telling yeah, they're even telling him where he's standing so they can kill them and pause the rounds. So we are gonna be jumping into a quick pause, Soul Dominus Wrecked. Unfortunately, I believe they said lost power or lost internet. And yeah, as I hold tab, I see that they have completely disconnected from the match, unfortunately. So I think there's a 10 minute timer in place. And then once that 10 minutes is hit, I think it turns into a forfeit, unfortunately, for Montclair in favor of UC Davis. And here, here they come around the corner with a shotgun, I believe, Willie just staring Soul Dominus wrecked in the face. Uh, <laughs> patiently, they are patiently waiting and it looks like they have found him. And yeah, okay, the spike plant comes through. Easy win, Soul Dominus wrecked has unfortunately disconnected, which I assume throws us into that timer of, are they gonna be able to come back in time? Yeah, I should. Yeah, there's the pause. Um, I think one thing that was actually nice about that is they didn't kill them because, you know, that would make their KD a little worse. Right. And the spike was already pretty close to going off. So nice sportsmanship there, UC Davis. Too. I like, so. Good I like that a lot. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, the hope right now, right, is that we can get this Killjoy player back in the lobby very soon. But if that doesn't happen, um, yeah, things can uh, things can go un uh, unfortunate for Montclair. They they don't have the most money either. It looks like Swoldominus because they didn't die. Actually, here's here's the counterpoint of that because they didn't die, they didn't get more money. So they uh, would have to go for a light buy if they wanted to get an assault rifle. They'd have to go for a light shield and maybe they could get a phantom or a vandal. But um, such is the cost of living, I guess, in a world like this, in the world of Valorant. Everyone yeah. else can buy, but just puts you in a bit of a bit of a pickle a i would spot. say yeah, a, yeah. A, a tough spot for sure and not to be that guy but if swell dominance wrecked is not able to return that will actually put us very close to right back on schedule which would be great because after that very extended map three earlier it has thrown us off schedule by quite a bit so now you know maybe if they don't return maybe it is just uh how how one would say how the cookie crumbles and unfortunately you know that would be another loss on board for montclair and Nobody, nobody wants to lose due to a disconnect, but it looks like we are going to see Full Dominance wrecked return. So they're going to be bringing, bringing the heat per the usual. Hopefully their internet able to stabilize. Yeah, it looks like they are back in action, or at least the timer has been on pause. We did see some movement. Have not bought anything beyond a. I'm not sure they're back. Goal field. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there it is. Okay, so they, they, they're, they're bringing out the pressure <laughs> okay. to play. It looks like they are back, but I mean the biggest thing is that Willie does get the operator, and already two kills coming out for UC Davis. Yeah, that's going to be great. UC Davis, they're coming back hotter than ever. They're able to take out both Flumies and Divine, so a 5v3. The Operator's still online for Willie as well, bringing the heat. And honestly, this is surprisingly for... I feel like for being nearly eight rounds in, we are not seeing a lot of eliminations, like, for one person. We're seeing a lot more consistent across the board. The lowest on both teams, it's going to be two from Montclair and three from UC Davis. But nobody's sitting at zero this time, which is great. 
I mean, it's the same thing for UC Davis, right? I mean, 986, those are the top three fraggers on their side. That's going to make it a little bit closer. Now it's 99. Now there's only Soul Dominus Rex left, and now they're gone. It's a very fast round win. That's so, a very fast round, yeah. I mean, they're just spreading love. I will say for Montclair, it's also kind of the same, but they just haven't had as many kills because they aren't winning as many rounds. But Soul Dominus Rex, despite uh, disconnecting, is currently the top fragger right now for Montclair State Riggs, who is that huge carry on the Brimstone before. is only one kill behind Flamey's also, you know, doing a bit better off the beginning. But, um, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're doing a little bit better as a team when you're still not winning rounds, because as you see, again, we were in a very similar situation where right. uh, UC Davis, too, is already one round away from taking a guaranteed lead going into halftime. Yeah, that guaranteed lead. I mean, that's a terrifying thing to be going up against. We saw last time they were able to take it to what they wanted to have time nine and three last time. So we see this is something that they're very comfortable with and hopefully they're able to keep this momentum and at least see with the operator. I mean, they have really been making a name for themselves here in this round. We saw a lot of great value. They're tied for top. Actually, they are technically top fragger because they've died less than Willie. I just swole Dominus Rekt is hanging out with the sheriff right now. That's just uh. Makes me a little bit nervous, but hopefully, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna win a one v one against a judge if you're just rocking a sheriff like that. So it's gonna be a three v five as Willie able to find two kills. Divine and Riggs gonna tie it up five v three to three v three. I only Bane using that Vandal to find not one but two eliminations onto Divine and Flumies. It's gonna be Riggs against the world all over again, and he's got just a judge to his name. And what was really interesting there is that Willie was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go in with the judge. It's already worked out before. I'm gonna do it again here. Oh, Ali C take it take my operator and that's what i wanted to see for them before when willie went in with the blade storm this time they do do it this time willie does get some kills and does die but ali c keeps that operator the entire time gets a kill i believe off of it as well and you know some of the stuff we were talking about before you see davis too they are cleaning it up on the fly it's huge and uh they, again we're gonna see that operator battle as flumi is now gonna get one of their own for the first time i believe yeah, and honestly, Willie dying is so much less important because they dropped that operator. Like, it's really as simple as that. You gave the operator away, go ahead, go die for the cause. Like, it matters <laughs> so much less, especially if you're going in getting one, two eliminations like yeah, that. So if you're just trading, huge, yeah, honestly, if you're trading two for play. one, it works really, if you're trading right. two for one, it works out so well, like, it's totally fine. Yeah, absolutely. And Willie has that blade storm online, so maybe they go ahead and do that this time around. There's only one way to find out, of course. The ultimate's pretty tied up as well. We see Blockdown, Blade Storm, and that Empress coming out from the side of Montclair, and then pretty much every ultimate that isn't breaches on the side of UC Davis. And I, I, before I felt like ultimates were setting the pace, but I feel like in this matchup on this map, it's not really done too much. Uh, honestly, I feel like if you are the attackers, like you can go for the showstopper. We haven't really seen that come out to play just yet. But the blade storm, omen teleport, neural theft, those are all things that are more conditional. So you can hold on to them. If you're the defender, I think that lockdown is the first thing that has to come out soon. Um, so I'm just Rex, I don't know how long they've been holding on to it, but speaking oh. of that showstopper, there it is. Speaking of ultimates, and that would have been crazy if Flumies was able to hit that shot, but unfortunately wasn't able to do it. Dingo Baby is going to pay the price of their life thanks to that showstopper from I Only Vane in the lead. Once again, in favor of UC Davis 2. They've already secured that majority going into halftime, so now they're just going to have to win five more rounds. That's not correct at all. Um, is it? I don't know. Don't ask me to do math, Six. guys. Anywho, Six. Six more rounds. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Majo able to find Divine, and now 3v5, 2v5, 0v5, another round coming out from uc davis we've got to be that's got to be the fifth or sixth flawless round we've seen from this team and uh now you've predicted the future because now it is five rounds so i mean you're you're just one Ta -da. step ahead of uh me in the universe there it's just that uh stream delay right even though i'm oh, watching this in real time it's just that stream delay just you're, you're just prophesizing it in <laughs> life. but i mean exactly what i said needed to happen they use the showstopper they get one kill off of it immediately they zone out flumies as the op and they also get the lockdown out for free. I think it's the biggest thing. So Dominus Rex tries to use it at the very end to try to, you know, bring that round back some way, some form. In the end, it gets just completely destroyed. And so is their round score as well as their economy. Not a lot of things going right right now for Montclair State, unfortunately. Yeah, things are unfortunately not going great for them, but it would just be great for us in terms of our schedule if this one did also not go to a map for you, so maybe they're just doing us a very big favor. Who knows? Divine able to take out Rice Man. It looks like they're going to be able to make it out with six health, just barely able to make it out of the way there. So now a very small lead is going to be ripped away as I Only Vane is able to find Riggs and Soul Dominus Rex. Going to take a lot of damage as well. The trade out finding Ali C, but being taken out by I Only Vane once again. Going to be tied up and. I mean, with a six health rain on your team, we're pretty much looking at it. Never mind, a two v two. 
Yeah, did they get no they were not a part of that kill so no hollow from that they know exactly where the operator is so they're gonna try to get them out of there oh, but they don't goes. realize that there is gonna be a rolling thunder that's so aggressive just using it Very right so. after getting it that's a I mean, that's, that's the kind of play I wanted to see from Montclair earlier. Just go for it. Yeah, that, that's a commitment and a half, to say the very least. Now, Joe, able to find Flumies as well. All of a sudden, something that was so close. I mean, a Ghost, I don't think you're going to win that matchup. It doesn't even get a shot. Joe, able to secure another round victory. We can see them going into halftime 11 to 2. Wait, no. 10, 10 to 2. Sorry. Can't do math. I'm here so to look far. pretty and have a good voice. I'm not here to do mental math. All right. None of us are here to do math. Math, math is bad. Math go away. But I mean, they're. Um, I mean, that's what I wanted to see from Jingo Baby last round. Like they got the Rolling Thunders, use it. This time, Joe, for the breach for the first time, immediately just uses it. Knows like that. You know, it's round by round. Maybe they're not going to use it for this last round. So why not just use it then and guarantee yourself at least a nine to three? They use it. They throw it out there. It works out beautifully. They don't even lose the operator. Just so many things going right now for you, oh, Davis. Speaking of operators, yeah. We're going to see Joe taken out of the fight straight away. Flumi's hitting that shot. Also tied for top fragger on the side of their team. So definitely doing a much better job here than we saw on Ascent. And now the Heat coming out once again. We're going to see UC Davis at that mild disadvantage. But that has not stopped them before, as we saw in that last round. Yeah, and I don't think anything stops this team, honestly. They don't honestly. care if they're down four people. They will just run in one person with the ultimate. Ooh. But Flumi's now starting to come to life. Flumies, come on, that is nasty. Ace? Oh, ace? no way, no way. An operator ace, I will lose my mind. It's gonna be one more kill. I only vein taken out by Riggs. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I wanna see an ace so bad, but Riggs is able to secure that round. So going into halftime, this is a very familiar score, folks. We saw it earlier, you guys did as well. Nine to three in favor of UC Davis. I think the biggest thing though for UC Davis too is that they looked really clean here on the attack. Um, that's kind of flip-flopping from last time where they looked really clean on the defense. So my question now is, can they do as well on this defense and put it away, or will they kind of let that lead fall out from under them? That's exactly what happened on Ascent. They had this great score line, this exact same score line before, and then they just kind of started losing round after round. Did end up putting it away by the end, but it took them a little bit longer to get there. But here it is on defense, where I think their comp is even better suited because, you know, Cypher, Cypher's a defensive hero defensive agent and i was really surprised that they were getting so much value out of the kit before i think the camera and the neural thefts were really on point but now that you know sides have flip-flopped it's going to be even more valuable yeah very much so a lot of things are going to be changing up here and the momentum shall be shifting per the usual divine dumping in a lot of damage but you cannot win a 1v3 like that i only vein and joe able to find it willie able to get that shorty kill onto flumies and dingo baby gonna get that vengeance kill gonna be taken out as well and all of a sudden it is full dominus wrecked versus the world taken out by joe honey there and almost a flawless round but we do see willie taken down there so not quite Great teleport there by the Omen, by Ali C. They realize it's just going to be B. It's a hard commit to B, so I'm just going to run through. I'm going to find a kill on the flank. It's also going to divert the attention of Swill Dominus Rex. Then they unload their entire clip of bullets. And then, as you see out there, as, as they were getting killed, they, they were just trying to go through the reload animation, which is pretty pretty awful, especially when you kind of get, uh, you know, every bullet that hits you, you're going to kind of get stunned a little bit. So they're not going to have anything going in their favor as the scales continue to tip more and more towards UC Davis too, and they're able to buy this round as well. Spectres and Marshals. Yeah, the first Marshal we've seen in this matchup is going to be Willie with the Marshal, which is like a cheaper, slightly worse operator, and now Divine finding Ali C already. It's going to be great, except Rice Man able to tie it up. Never mind, Divine going to take another lead here, able to find two eliminations in this matchup already, trying to find that Marshal, but not able to do so. Divine tries to pick up Willie, and they're, they're low, but they are definitely not out of this fight quite yet. And I, would, I love that play from Divine. Just tries to go in, doesn't doesn't think that anyone's going to suspect them being there. They don't, but unfortunately just can't find the spray there. That's the thing about the Spectre. It has a really great high rate of fire, but it goes wild if you don't hit your first. Oh, no. Shot. That was almost a bomb buddy kill. Yeah, I have not seen a bomb buddy kill in seemingly ages. That would have been pretty neat, but Joe able to find a double kill. Divine finds three, but three is not five, unfortunately. And now another defuse coming through. The defense already looking strong. That's two rounds in favor of UC Davis since halftime. They're going to be able to get that defuse and that that might this may this upcoming round may be our penultimate one it could be it is the bonus round now for montclair right so right I, it could go their way but already we've seen that uc davis can win in thrifty fashion and they still have pretty good guns if i remember correctly they're gonna have a guardian two specters i think it it's depending on what joe and rice man buy um that's gonna be the biggest question marks for me it looks like they're actually gonna go for the bucky and oh man do you, do you remember what happened with the bucky on ascent I mean that that shredded people last time. So yeah, I'm that really was that excited. was sad. 
I'm excited to see what UC Davis 2 can do here. You know, seeing the Buckies come out would be pretty exciting. And I mean, like you said, we're going to see him coming out and it's it's it was a massacre last time. So maybe they pull out just that same optimization. Ali sees somebody's walking right into his sights, but no, misses that shot. Able to find the second one already down to 20 health. But even if you die now, you've already got a great trade. You took out one. You actually took out the top fragger on the side of Montclair. You see Davis, they're going to be down one as Rice Man. Actually, you know, that's going to be a tie up as Rice Man is taken out of the fight. And now we see Ali C 20 health. I mean, Hopefully get at least one more elimination, but now Divine picking up Willy. Things are going to look worse and worse, but Ali C going to tie it up again. The wall bang from Riggs again is going to be in favor of Montclair. They are up by one. They've got that spike online, and they're going to try to make the magic happen here. And both players in the set of UC Davis 2 are playing Heaven. Um, they're going to throw the Bomb Buddy out. They're going to try to get some concussions with the Breach. Uh, again, I, I don't think this is the play. I mean, oh, I no. see a flip push, but they're just both going to walk out and die. I, I mean, the, the Empress is out from Divine, and they were just doing work. So I feel like if you try to go for a push on the side instead, maybe you can catch them off guard. But odds are you won't win that round anyway, considering it's right. a 3-2. But at least you might get some exit kills there. They get none. The guns are still in the hands of Montclair. But on the bright side, now you can buy. Yeah, like you said, there's there's a possibility to buy. There's an opportunity here to maybe flat momentum back in your favor. And I mean, you see Davis, they're able to buy, but hardly. Two of them sitting at zero credits. The highest they have right now is 800 credits for Willy. And then other than that, they do not have an economy. They do already have a Rolling Thunder. So I'm very interested very in how they use this, because um, I think this is a better ultimate on offense. But if you try to go for the retake once the spike has been planted, that can be a great way to clear the site. So it's, I'm, I'm really interested to see how that plays out, but we've, we've only two rounds needed. They might try to play it a bit more aggressive and just go for it before the spike is even planted. Yeah, we want to see that spike plant come through. We want to see that aggression. And also, I want to point out that uh, Joe, Honey, Honey, I don't know how to say that. Joe on the side of UC Davis currently has 10 assists, which might be the most assists I've seen in a very long time. Currently sitting at 12 eliminations and 10 assists. So that has nothing to do with what's happening. I just thought that was interesting. It's almost like they're playing Sage. That, that's what it looks like. <laughs> almost, almost. It'd be interesting to see a Sage here, but now a lot, a lot of Breach gameplay today, which I'm excited about. I feel like we haven't seen him a lot lately, so it's nice to see him showing his face once again. We're going to take a ton of damage from that bomb body, going to stay alive. And now that this is where the Rolling Thunder could come in very clutch. They decide to come in and, you know, say it, and there it comes out. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be coming out super aggressive. It looks like Joe able to find one. Rice Man finds another, and this could be our penultimate round. But Riggs picks up one. I only Vayne finds two after it. It's going to be divine. Uh, I'm not even sure versus the world versus four people who are not missing their shots right now. Taking a little bit of damage from the blast pack, but doesn't turn the corner in time. Hey, the exit frag. Just yeah. get the kill and run. Just get the kill and run. <laughs> get, gets the kill. Gets to keep their own gun, but no one else is really going to be able to go. Actually, no, they can full buy on the side of Montclair. And maybe not full buy, but they can buy. Yeah, they can um, buy. They can buy a little bit. But I think there, that's like a time where Divine has realized, you know, I'm probably not going to live through this, but if I can stop the spike from being defused, if I can somehow help win this round, that's going to be a sacrifice that's worthwhile. Instead, it is, they just keep holding that corner. They know they're coming into a lot of different fire. And sure, you get one gun out, but I think there it's just kind of go big or go home. It's probably not going to work out in your favor, but at least, you know, die the hero. Don't don't live long enough to just wraith out of that fight. Yeah, absolutely. Die the hero, don't live long enough to see yourself become the Wraith, or however that saying goes. Anyway, now it's going to be that, that 5v5 classic as the round just opens up, and you see Davis, they really want to try to not make any mistakes, because if they're able to secure the win here, that's going to be a 2-0 win, and okay, now, all right, you see, no mistakes have been made so far, as this round looks like it may be flawless. Flumi is that last survivor, does not have the spike, either trying to look for any kind of eliminations, might be able to find one, going to pick up Ali C, going to not be able to find Rice Man, and just like that, my friends, you see Davis, they are able to secure a very strong victory all in all a great turnaround and i mean 13 to 4 that's it's a pretty nasty score that's worse than a cent yeah it's it's a better scoreline for uc davis too they definitely come out a bit more clutch in the second map their attack looked very very clean and as you see uh three out of the four top spots do go their way including joe who does have 13 assists when all is said and done i, I love that rolling thunder was able to i think <laughs> knock up two or three players when they went for that retake on the pen ultimate round so great overall team play unfortunately for montclair their first one is not going to be found here today and the revenge that they were seeking from the preseason is not going to be delivered either but I mean, I mean, especially for Ascent, I think there are some good takeaways from there. Yep, um, I absolutely. think that they actually did kind of learn throughout the series. They were using ultimates a bit quicker. They were being a bit more decisive. I think just 
their their agent select was not the strongest and you know going into different map types you really have to figure out like what works best to the map's geography there and it's not the right comp and it did not work out it did not help them enough yeah, absolutely. I could not agree more. And the comp was definitely weird. We commented on that earlier. We saw a Brimstone and a Breach, which, you know, I feel like you don't see them in tandem very often. You usually see one or the other. Not that they're super similar, but I just feel like you don't see them very often. But, you know, like you said, there's a lot to learn. Montclair, they end up losing that one, unfortunately, as well. But that's going to be a great VOD to go back and watch because the rounds where they were able to win, there was some great strategy and some great execution from the players there. I think maybe they just need to not be afraid to spice things up a little bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit of spice, not too spicy, but bit. some different agents, some quicker plays on the moment. You know, when you're in, when you're in it, just 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 hit the button. Don't don't think about it too right. much. Just try to go. Oh, and use your thing. ultimates. Yeah, I mean, especially when like you got to know like where you are in the game. If there's like only two rounds before the swap, odds are it doesn't make sense to keep all five ultimates for that last round and then use none of them. So right. just have to be a little bit quicker on the draw there. But I believe Septulence, that is going to be the end of our time together. But you will yes. be continuing on tonight. Yes, I sure will, Jag. This is going to be his one game of the evening here. I will be right back with Go Ask Alice. You guys saw her earlier. She's great, and you saw us together last week. We'll be right back in just a couple of minutes. We're going to throw it to a break, get our brand new teams in here, and we'll see you guys soon. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. Wow. 